Greetings, divine radiance. Welcome. I am Nikila Asha of Ashmore Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter interpreting messages and methods from the divine that empower you to create and live an abundant life. So today I'm doing this video and I'm going to be putting this under the quick tips and tools video. But the reason why this video is being recorded is because one of my sisters in light who is in the REM mentorship program asked a question about how she can overcome something that she's been going through. And it's coming through as more like something that's triggering her. So there are a few different techniques that you can use to overcome certain things that are triggering you. But one that I like to share most often, because it's really easy and simple for you to do, is for you to pay attention. When someone's triggering you or you're feeling off balance, I like you to take some deep breaths and I like you to feel where you're feeling that feeling of discomfort at in your body, right? So like for instance, if you're feeling anxiety or anxious, you know, pay attention, breathe and feel where are you feeling it in your body? Almost almost 100% of the time, you'll notice that you're feeling it in a chakra. And so what I'd like you to do is take those deep breaths and allow yourself to feel the feeling in your chakra. And then as you're feeling it, I'd like you to see your chakra as a wheel, a spinning wheel. Life happens. I've been out and about running all day long. And um, my phone, when I'm at home working, I turn my phone down. And today, because my mom and I were communicating, that's who that was, by the way, because I was just attempting to FaceTime her. Um, I turned it up so she could get in touch with me. So I apologize, please excuse that. So what I'd like you to do, take those deep breaths, right? Now see your chakras as a spinning wheel. Pay attention to which direction it's spinning. Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? And then if it's clockwise, spin it counterclockwise. If it's counterclockwise, spin it clockwise. Pay attention to how it feels. Determine which direction feels better. Then I'd like you to pay attention to the speed of the wheel. How fast, how slow is it going? If it feels like it's going too slow, then speed it up. If it feels like it's going too fast, then slow it down, right? And remember, whichever way you go or whichever speed you adjust it to, you can always adjust it back. So just allow yourself to play with it until it begins to feel good. Then I'd like you to pay attention to the color. Now, does this look, you know, if it's your heart chakra, is it like a dark, muddy, muted green, or is it a bright, vibrant, emerald green, right? So associate each chakra with the colors, pay attention, and maybe perhaps your will, you may not see it in the colors that are actually associated with the chakras. So whatever color you see it associated as, just pay attention to whether or not it's dark and, and heavy or if it's light and vibrant, right? If it's dark and heavy, what I'd like you to do with every inhale, visualize yourself and feel yourself breathing in that love and light. And with every exhale, blowing out all that darkness and just cleansing that area, right? The more you do this, you'll find that you don't feel those same feelings of discomfort, right? Or being triggered. So do this quick tip and tool to get yourself back in balance. And you can even do it when you're not feeling triggered. You can just do it to go through your chakras as a quick balance and cleanse, okay? So I'm so grateful to share these quick tips and tools with you. If this resonates with you on any level or if it helps you at all, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. And it also helps for these messages of light and love to be shared with the world. And share the video. If you feel led to do so, share it. You know, whenever something resonates with you, Go ahead and click that share button. Share it. Sharing is caring. Okay. But anyways, I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.